I just want to come to you and talk about this feeling I've been experiencing and I don't know how else to express it than in words that I'm borrowing from another artist that I really really appreciate on this platform and I've been following that person for a few years and something that they shared not too long ago has really really resonated with me. They said sometimes they can feel disempowered as an artist and that is just that is it to a T. So much of what's considered art in the traditional sense is tied up in the approval of gatekeepers. You have MFA graduates, solo and group exhibitions at galleries, representation and management, art on billboards, and so on and so on. These accomplishments are wonderful and obviously deserve to be celebrated, but there's a glaring problem. All of these things are dictated by the approval of others. All of these markers of success are so wonderful, but I'm just really questioning if they're sustainable. Is it realistic for me to try to build a career based on other people's opinions as an artist? Does that really make sense? And this is really coming up for me because in the past week, I was churning through so many different websites and spending hours and hours looking for different artist opportunities. And it had me a little scared because it reminded me of not too long ago when I was toiling, going through different websites and trying to apply to different jobs. And I just needed the rat chase to end. I actually found this quote online a gallery website nonetheless that really inspired me in this situation and made me feel like you know what i got this and it says arushi kapoor is content to grant her own wishes rather than leave them in the hands of fate and i was like you know what that's speaking to me so i was like this should be my mission statement and i stole it and i i put myself into it so now it reads, Alexandra Robin is content to grant her own wishes rather than to leave them in the hands of fate. Mm. And I keep thinking like, how do I empower myself and uplift myself and put myself into a position where the decision maker is me? I'm the person who knows how to make money as an artist. I know when my art is good. I know where I should be showing my art and when, to what capacity. And ultimately, I'm the person making the decisions. Some of the control I do relinquish to other people, like I can't determine how my work is received or whether or not I get accepted, for example, to a gallery. I can control my expectations. I can shape my career and how much I determine to go out and, and, and ask for approval. I can determine how much the role of a gallery would play in my career. Like maybe I do wanna have my art in an exhibit at a renowned gallery, but that's just a piece of the pie. That's not what I rely on. Same with social media. I'm not letting likes or follows dictate what I believe to be quality art, what I believe to be worth an investment. Really, like that's my job as an artist to share my gifts with the world and let the world know. I'm going to let you know what's up, okay? And I'm going to be looking at um, different groups online and in person and determining whether or not they fit what I want, whether they meet my standards, right? So it's assuming a role of power within my own life on a daily basis and um, sometimes negotiating that power but never 
surrendering it so that I feel like I need someone else's approval to make this work. And that's just where my head is at right now. It's like just getting out of a rut or even letting myself slip and start to feel like I'm losing control. Because I really need to work on my mental state, make sure that I'm clear and that, I mean, it's okay to have sad days, bad days, but we're not gonna say, oh, this stranger on the internet who's doing some awesome stuff, like, I need to go out and stop at nothing to get their attention and their approval. Like, that is so unsustainable. That's just not gonna work. And so I have to be really focused and determined to like keep my sights on my own goals and making sure that those work, okay? And then also being content with, you know, people saying, I looked at your stuff and I don't like it or I'm not interested and you know what? Just keep affirming to myself and the people who do appreciate what I'm doing that this is all worth it this is important and that i need to keep moving on i need to keep moving on and so yeah that's what i've been considering lately another powerful tool in the world of art is the artist statement and that is another thing that i've been using quite literally to guide me along and whenever i feel like doubts or confusion about what i'm doing i revisit my artist statement or i even revise it because i'm like no that language isn't working for me i need to inform myself and the world about who i am and what i'm set here to do through my practice and so I think it's a really amazing opportunity to tell the world who you are and affirm your place and what you're meant to do. What are you meant to create? And as a North Star, just to keep you personally um, focused on what it is that you're set out to achieve and to never lose sight of your goals and the value that you bring to the world. And I feel like I've been to so many websites, this is a sh between you and me, where I'm reading someone's artist statement and I'm just like, I don't know, if it, is it the vocabulary? Like, I don't really know if they believe what they're saying. And so I feel like that's a missed opportunity, not only for me to learn about who they are, what they're doing, um, I don't really make that connection with them. And then also, I just feel like maybe like it's a very fancy cool wording thing that you put in your site or on your CV but like do you really use it to guide what you're doing? Um, it just makes me feel like there's not enough clarity there um, on their end and so that's something that I want to make sure that I'm really adamant about that the language I use is very like clear and simple and like genuine like i want to read that and really set myself straight let myself know what is up here what am i set out here to do so i'm always just like focused because there's just so much confusion honestly like when you're trying to set out a plan for yourself um and you don't really know what you're doing it is so good to have just a mission statement an artist statement that in a very general sense lines out where you're headed so you don't have to keep questioning yourself or guessing what am i doing what, what's going on and it's already there and you just stick to it 